guys. Today we are going to set up a writer's notebook and we're just going to do step one. So in third grade, we're going to be doing a lot of writing. And even though you're not at school right now in person, you're still going to be doing a lot of writing wherever you are. So our first step to creating a writing notebook is grabbing your writer's notebook. So mine is yellow like this. Okay. Now, if you were in person in class when we started school, I gave you a little label that said writing on it and I put it in the top corner of your writer's, um, your writing notebook. So that's how you know it's your writing notebook. For those of you who started the school year remotely at home, just pick a notebook, okay? Because notebooks were, in, were, were part of your school supplies. So you will just pick a notebook that you wanna use for writing, be any notebook, and um, go ahead and write writing on it. Now, the best way to do this is in permanent marker, uh, Sharpie marker. So you might want to ask mom or dad or whoever you are living with or whoever is taking care of you if they have a Sharpie marker. Okay, and then you'll just write writing in the top corner. All right, so once you have your writing notebook, here's the fun part. So I love writing, and you might like writing too, or you might not really like writing and you might like a different subject a little bit better, which is totally fine, okay? We all have our favorite school subjects and ones that we don't like as much. And in third grade, I really want you to become a really great writer and a really creative writer, okay? Um, so our first step to do that is make writing fun for us. And you are going to decorate your writing notebook. So it's gonna go from this to something like this. Okay, so as you can see, I decorated my writing notebook. The reason we decorate our writing notebooks is because writing is supposed to make us feel really excited and lots, we always have lots of different emotions when we are writing. And sometimes we might be a little bit stuck on what to write about. So we need to have things that inspire us and make us happy. So that's what you're going to decorate your writing notebook with. It's a little bit like our me collage that we did, but also a little bit different. So in the middle of your writing notebook, you can write your name or you can write it at the top. Okay, some of you might already have your name on it. And I think if I put a label on your notebook, you have your name on your label. So you can rewrite your name again. I did mine in fancy letters down here. It says Miss Johnson. Now you're going to want to write your name on this with permanent marker too. Okay, so if you choose to do something like this, make sure you use a Sharpie marker. Now, this is my writing notebook that I created. And I wanted to uh, decorate the cover of my writing notebook with things that make me feel really happy and really inspired. Feeling inspired means that you feel like you want to write. Like if you're stuck and you're like, oh man, I don't know what to write about today. I don't have any ideas. Something that gives you inspiration gives you an idea of what to write about. Okay, so we're going to decorate our writing notebook. Now, as you can see, I just searched pictures on Google and then I printed them out. So I have a picture of myself up here. Okay, you can definitely have a picture of yourself on your writing notebook. That's a really great idea because it's who you are and it's your writing notebook. And we're going to fill this notebook with lots of special things in third grade. I have a picture of my family. I have a picture of my dog, my puppy, Winston. Um, obviously, I love my dog and I love my family, but I can also write about them too. So if I ever have a day when I don't, when I'm stuck about what to write about, let's say Miss Johnson gives me a free write to do and I don't really know what to write about, I could write about my family. I could write about my puppy, Winston. Um, I have teacher up here because I am a teacher. That's what I am. Now you could write, um, or you could, um, have a word that whatever you think describes you. Okay, I just thought teacher describes me because I am a teacher. Um, I have a picture or a little clip art of somebody running. I really like to run. I like to play tennis. I really like traveling and I love to write about my traveling adventures. So that's why I put this picture here. This picture is from Ireland. So it's actually a picture that I took. Um, this down here, oops. This is a picture of like just a fall, a fall scene with some mountains in the background. Now that just kind of symbolizes that I really like the season of fall and um, I love to, I love to write about it. I like to write stories that have like Halloween stories, those kind of things. 
Um, I have a picture of a sun here because I love to write outside if I can. And whenever we come back to school in person, we can um, definitely go outside and write. Um, it just kind of makes it a little bit more peaceful and enjoyable for me at least. I love Junie B. Jones, so you can put your favorite books here. I love cooking and I also like pizza, so that is what this picture represents. I love to teach people how to cook, so if I wanted to write um, a journal piece or, no, or a piece in my writer's notebook about how to cook pizza, I could do that. Um, I think that's all of the ideas. So I would love if you could fill up your notebook with some pictures or some words of things that give you inspiration and things that make you feel really happy and just things that describe who you are as a person and as a writer. Okay, so this was just my example. Now, if you do not have access to a printer at home, that is just fine. What you can do is take a blank piece of paper, just like this. This has like some, this is a chart on the back of it, but you know what I mean, just a blank piece of computer paper and you can draw on it. Um, let's say that you also wanted to draw a picture of pizza because you love to eat pizza and maybe you also like cooking. Um, you can draw a picture of pizza on that and then cut it out and then glue it on here, okay? So we want it to be really colorful, um, really exciting because we're gonna be using this all year long. This is gonna be our really special writing notebook. So I want you to really make it special with things that describe who you are as a person. Okay, these are the things that describe me. And as we go throughout the year, if we think of more things that we want to put on our writer's notebook, we definitely can do that. Okay, so I might think of more things that I might put right here. Maybe I'll squeeze it in here. And maybe eventually it will be all full. Okay, once we have a whole bunch of ideas. So this is just my example for you. Take a look at it. And I want you to create one too. Now when you are done with decorating your writing notebook, what you can do is take a picture of it on, and um, upload it to Seesaw so that way I can see what it looks like because I'm really excited to see all of your writing notebooks. And throughout the next couple days, we are going to be setting up our writing notebooks, so that means we're going to be doing things inside of it as well. Okay, so I hope you're really excited to start our writing notebook journey, and I cannot wait to see your notebook and what it looks like. Bye, guys.